Hi, Bill Cullen here, checking in with another edition of Cullen's Adventures. The project this time, a bit of rhyme. Our program is presented as a special service by this station and is furnished by Grolier Incorporated, publishers of the Book of Knowledge, the foremost children's encyclopedia for more than 50 years. If you have it in mind to introduce your youngsters to a waterfall this year, it'll most likely be during the next three months. I can't give you the exact waterfall viewing statistics, but I can say with certainty that June, July, and August represent the months when Yosemite, Niagara, and the likes collect more O's and O's than any other season of the year. They're also the object of a record amount of snapshot snapping, and that, in a way, is the project we have in mind for this edition of Cullen's Adventures, presenting you with a famous word snapshot of a waterfall from the pen of the 19th century British poet Robert Southey. He composed it for his own youngsters more than a century ago. But since waterfall styles don't change much, it's still very much up to date. If you can't get the kids out to Yosemite this year, it adds up to a pleasant stay-at-home substitute. Cool, too. To show you what I mean, here's a sampling now from the poetry section of the Book of Knowledge, The Cataract of Lador by Robert Southey. How does the water come down at Lador? My little boy asked me thus once on a time. And moreover, he tasked me to tell him in rhyme, anon at the word, there first came one daughter, and then came another, to second and third, the request of their brother, and to hear how the water comes down at Lador, with its rush and its roar, as many a time they had seen it before. From its sources, which well in the tarn on the fell, from its fountains in the mountains, its rills and its gills, through moss and through brake, it runs and it creeps, for a while till it sleeps in its own little lake. And thence at departing, awakening and starting, it runs through the reeds, and away it proceeds through meadow and glade, in sun and in shade. And through the wood shelter among crags, in its flurry, helter, skelter, hurry, scurry, here it comes sparkling, and there it lies darkling, till in this rapid race, on which it is bent, it reaches the place of its steep descent, the cataract strong then plunges along, striking and raging as if war waging, its caverns and rocks among, rising and leaping, sinking and creeping, flying and flinging, writhing and ringing, eddying and whisking, spouting and frisking, turning and twisting around and around with endless rebound, and glittering and frittering and gatherings and feathering and whitening and brightening, quivering and shivering and hurrying and scurrying and thundering and floundering and grumbling and rumbling and tumbling and clattering and battering and shattering and thumping and pumping and bumping and jumping and dashing and flashing and splashing and clashing and so never ending but always descending sounds and motions forever and ever are blending all at once and all o'er with a mighty uproar and this way the water comes down at Lador and now for this dripping, skipping, foaming, roaming edition of Cullen's Adventures, that's all we have time for. Before we sign off, a quick invitation for the moms and dads in the crowd with youngsters of school age. We put together a booklet containing some more interesting facts and figures such as you've heard on the show, a booklet assembled with the youngsters specifically in mind. If you'd like to receive one, let us hear from you. There's no charge. All we need is your name and address on a postcard. Mail it to Cullen's Adventures, Box 3400, Grand Central Station, New York City, and we'll send the booklet right out. I'll be back on Monday with another edition of Cullen's Adventures, furnished by Grolier Incorporated, publishers of the Book of Knowledge. Hope you'll join me. Until then, have a nice weekend and goodbye for now. <laughs>